how to add custom CSS in Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a CSS code into your Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The CSS codes are used for creating widgets and also a lot of features that can be modified into or edited into your Wix website. And from these features, you can go ahead and create some widgets using the Outside Widget Creator, which is a no code widget creator that will transform your idea into a code that you are only going to, uh, for example, copy and paste into your Wix website and etc. You can also use Canva to create some extensions like uh, presentations and also uh, many websites and also a lot of features, presentations, videos, and etc. And finally, I have used or you uh, have used a lot of uh, Calendly events right there and booking, uh, scheduling, and etc. from Calendly because you can go ahead and get that and put these consultation, booking, and scheduling. So let's go back to the Wix website. Then we are going to see the website. Right here we have the sites dashboard. If you don't have a website, go ahead and create your website. If you do have, go ahead and select any of these websites. Then you need to visit the dashboard of that specific website. So here we have the uh, dashboard. All I need to do is to click on edit site right here. Uh, before we wait for the Wix website editor to load up, I highly recommend you to set up your shop if you have a shop right there or your payment methods using Wix because it is very necessary to set up the payment methods. All you need to do is just click on settings. Then you are going to set or click on accept payments. Click on accept payments right there. Then put, for example, Stripe or whatever you want from the payment methods. So right there, we are going to see here the website editor. Now we are on the website. And as you can see right there, we have fully loaded all the content of the specific website. So we need to get that specific CSS code. For that, we need to create a section for it. So I highly recommend you to create a section. How we can do that between each section of the website, you will get the choice or the option to create it. As you can see here, it has appeared a toggle button for add sections. Now I am going to create a blank section because the blank section will let you work freely and you will not get any of the components. For the background, I am going to change it to something else. You can go ahead and set it uh, set for the image, video, background, or a simple color. Here I would like to differentiate this uh, specific page from the yellow pages of the website to let you see here how we can um, add the codes so we need to click on the left side menu on the plus sign which is add elements and from there we are going to search for embed code here we have it click on it and here as you can see we have some embed code right there we have custom element embed html embed a site or custom element again so if we click on custom element right there you're going to click on choose the source you can go ahead and use a server url or a velo file but in my case i will not use the custom element but instead i am going to use the embed html so right there we have the html settings what do you want to add Obviously not a website address, but a code. So I'm going to make this box right there, which is an empty box. I'm going to extend it a little bit. Now we have the code empty. How we are going to set the code. For example, I have suggested from the beginning of the website, elf site, which is a widget creator. You can go ahead and set whatever you have from the widgets. For example, I'm going to see here a widget and we are going to customize it. So let's go ahead right there and customize that specific widget and make something like here we have the WhatsApp chat. 
I have created a WhatsApp chat. I have created a, a testimonial slider right here, a photo, photo gallery, PayPal button, and etc. You can click on the catalog or the templates and see whatever suits you. Here, for example, we have LinkedIn feed, event calendar, WhatsApp chat, Google reviews, Instagram feed. Let's go ahead and add our, let's say, not Instagram feed because Instagram is already integrated within uh, Wix. So we are going to see here a logo showcase. Maybe this is not situated or uh, added to the Wix website. We are going to use a template. So we have here the uh, template ready. So you can go ahead and set uh, the template from the monochrome carousel, infinite carousel, logo slider, grid, and etc. I'm going to use the infinite carousel since it is uh, right there animated and it is moving. So we are going to see here, we have a logo tile, but I'm going to work with this one because we have the white background created. So I'm going to continue using this template. You can add the logos right there or let them like that just for the presentation because I'm using this for only the presentation. You can modify the header, for example, put a header on it, put a title, for example, our partners. You can also add some captions right there. We have the call to action button. You can show a button like that. So here we have this uh, logo presentation only for the showcase, not to redirect to a button or create an action with it. For the layout, you can go ahead and set it as carousel, which is fixed or static. You have a ticker, which is dynamic. And also we have a grid. Now for the logo size, you can go ahead and customize the logo size like that. You can set a spacing, for example, like that. And you can set the mobile behavior from there also. And you can set some random orders or you can add some ticker settings to be a little bit uh, faster or slower like that. You can also uh, pause on hover right there. If you put the mouse on hover like that, pause it and etc. I'm going to let this as it is. Then I'm going to switch to the styles. We have the fonts right there. You can use the fonts if you have used this, uh, for example, our partner text. As you can see, it will be changing here. So we have the background. You can set the background color to something like that, that, and more. Uh, so it will match right there the colors of your website. So we have the custom CSS here. You can go ahead and modify that code before using it. And the final step, I'm going to click on publish. Click on publish. Here we have the uh, published one. I'm going to click on close. Here we have it. So I'm going to click on install. Then I have this embed code. Click on copy code. Go back to the Wix. Paste that. Click on update and wait for a few seconds. Here we have the code. It will be showing up right there. It will be loading. And as you can see here, we have them. But unfortunately, the logos has not been uploaded. Because here on Elf site, they has been set for the sake of the, the presentation and not having the logos. Because the logos here are empty, you can browse the files and uh, use your own photos. This is just an example on how we can add the files. As you can see, we have it. So we are going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe smaller or whatever you want. I'm going to let you see here something else on uh, or another code method. I'm going to visit, for example, Calendly. Then I'm going to connect into my uh, Google account. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses and uh, right there, phone numbers, Google accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own accounts. Then you are going to be ready. So here we have uh, connected our Calendly account. So we are going to see the Calendly. Here we have some appointments. All we need to do right there is to click on share on any of these appointments. And the next thing is to add 
or click on add to website here we have the option to use a pop-up a pop-up text a m file or inline embed i'm going to use an inline embed and as you can see we have the code copy if you have the premium version of the calendly you can modify the background color text and the button but if you know how to use the um right here the codes and know how could to change the colors you're going to set those from there so i'm going back here apply to make it empty again so we are going to paste that specific code then we need to set apply wait for a few seconds and here we have the calendly right there so i'm going to make right there the uh, section a little bit wider stretch stretch it like that and boom here we have the calendar and everything will be working well so as you can see calendly and here we go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one